Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown. So, ninth generation CPUs are upon us now, eh? And uh, so I'm looking here at the HID Evolution uh, uh, MSI GS75 Thin. Now, the eighth gen was actually only released in, in December of 2018. So, you know, it's only like four months ago. So it's hard for consumers, you know, the companies release laptops and then just a few months later, of course, Intel or NVIDIA release new components that have to do a refresh. So it's very difficult for people. Um, so as I say, this retail, retails from uh, HID Evolution for $1,200. Now, they, since it's just come out, they wanted to get to me as soon as possible. They haven't repasted it. Now, of course, normally they would do a repaste, you know, and that's certainly worthwhile uh, on, on many laptops. And I'm not sure how hot this uh, i7-9750H CPU in here will actually get but uh, of course I'll be doing that testing and comparing it to the 8750H which we all are used to um, but of course you know you can do that and even, even for even to stock paste set, setups like this they open it up uh, to make sure everything is okay which is great and so compared to buying it from Amazon or somewhere like that you know you're taking pot look on, on how it looks and of course for a little bit extra money HID will uh, you know guarantee that there's uh, no dead pixels and also Check it out to see if there's any backlight bleed and send you one, you know, for a fee, one with a minimal backlight bleed. And I think that's always good as well. Now it comes with uh, two sticks of uh, eight gigabyte RAM. So even, even the stock model has that. So it runs dual channel. So kudos to MSI for doing that. It has a uh, one um, SATA R stroke PCI Express M.2 slot, and it has a 512 gigabyte uh, one in here. Uh, there is a space for a two and a half inch drive as well. I'm not sure if this one comes with that, but yeah, of course, HID can configure that to even include a SATA piece, um, SATA SSD in there, should you wish. It's got a 9560 uh, Wi-Fi card, which is which is very nice. Uh, I believe it's got a 51 watt hour battery, a three cell battery. So you know that's that. Uh, that's not huge, but of course it has Optimus, and this one has the for graphics has the 1650 Max Q. Now the uh, full size 1650 Ti, I think has like 1024 shade as well. The Max Q variant has it cut down to like 896. And um, it has uh, four gigabytes of uh, memory on it, uh, 128 uh, bit bus. So, you know, it, by all accounts, it's, it's about 10% faster than GTX 1050 and uh, about 12% uh, uh, behind a G, uh, GTX 1050 Ti, you know, uh, so it should run pretty, pretty cool. And the i9 9750H CPU, well, that uh, the basically it's, it's, it's again it's a 14 nanometer uh, coffee lake process, 14 nanometer plus plus they say, uh, with an improved process. So we'll see if that improves the thermals at all. But the base lock on the 9750H is 2.6 gigahertz. Now that is an increase from uh, 2.2 gigahertz on the 8750H, and that could be pretty useful. And uh, the boost clock for single core performance goes from uh, the 4.1 gigahertz on the 8750H all the way up to 4.5. So if, if you've got some single thread uh, programs, you should see some good benefit there. Now, of course, if you have all six cores active, the 8750H uh, boosts up to around about 3.9 in theory, but of course we all know too well, it tends to throttle down. And uh, the, uh, the 9750H, you know, all cores active is about four gigahertz. So generally you're not gonna see that much more improvement perhaps in, in gaming, unless it's just using like one core. Let's have a look inside the box. Oh, that's interesting. We get the uh, usual guides and we get the bracket for like the hard drive in there. Of course the power brick is fairly small. It's actually a 150 watt power brick. Now it's just over an inch thick is this laptop and they have the uh, a brushed aluminum uh, top here with uh, the emblem uh, of uh, MSI here. Now it's quite severely brushed. I, I think I prefer a more subtle look. You can certainly see it, but you know, there's no red decals like they, they used to have. So that's, it's nice. Now it's a 17 inch laptop with very thin bezels. And uh, I believe with an 88% screen ratio. So that is very nice. So the keyboard is quite nice, spacious. Got red paint around the keys. And of course the only color, of course, when it's lit up is red as well. But uh, you have a number pad here, the aluminum keyboard deck, 
is quite clean looking. I do like it. Slight brush aluminium finish to it. The power button here, and you can see clearly here some heat sinks blowing up to, towards the, the hinge area. Of course, on the right hand side, we have the uh, lock, we have the headphone jack, mic jack, USB 3.1 Type A, USB 3.1 Type C, the Thunderbolt, Ethernet port, and an air vent. On the left hand side, two USB 3.1 Type A's, HDMI, power connector, and another heatsink. I do like how when you open up the, the, the screen like that, it creates a good air gap. That's a nice design. So I expect the cooling to be pretty decent actually, to be honest, that looks not too bad at all. And uh, underneath we have a plastic bottom, air intakes here, nice big feet, and uh, you've got the two stereo speakers here. Now the two watt speakers, so getting inside is nice and easy. Phillips head screws, plastic cover, just pops straight off. I've actually got a sizable battery here, but I do believe it's 51 watt hour, but it looks pretty big. You can see the speakers here, two and a half inch bay here, the 9560 Wi-Fi card, the M.2 slot here for both PCI Express and SATA, two sticks of RAM, so I suspect the, suspect the GPU and the CPU here, two heat pipes each, but separate. I like that, that is pretty good. And of course you've got four heat sinks as well. Here we compare the colors between the, my Dell XPS 15 2 and one which has a very nice panel, and the 60 hertz 1080p IPS level display here on the MSI GS, uh, GF75. And certainly, you know, it seems okay, but it's certainly not as nice as the XPS 15 2 and one Now, one thing I really do like here, we have the thin bezels with the webcam up top, of course, but look at the bottom chin, nice and thin. Gives you a good view of the panel and it does look much better. Nice clean look, I like it. So let's do Cinebench R15 multi-thread on the i7-750H here on the MSI and the 8750H here on the Triton 500. So 1254 points. To 1171 points, both of max fans. I will do Cinebench R15 single core test. There we are. So 181 points on the 9750H, 175 points on the 8750H. So comparing the Heaven benchmark on the MSI uh, GF75 and the Dell XPS 15 2 and one Now this has Vega MGL graphics, runs just slightly above a GTX 1050. Uh, so let's see how we get on here. So the uh, MSI GF 75 scored 75.2 FPS and the Vega MGL graphics or say a GTX 1050, um, 51 FPS. So that's actually quite a nice improvement. So now against a GTX 1060 so against the GTX 1060, we get 106 FPS. So there you have it. I do like what I see here. Things I do like in particular, small chin, very nice. Means you've got, you know, it's 88% screen to body ratio. With these thin bezels, webcam up top, it's all screen. It looks very good. And I like the clean look here inside. Uh, it's keyboard is spacious. I do, do like that. And I do like the cooling as well because you've got the the heat sinks here in the hinge at the sides and the back and you do have separate heat pipes for the cpu and the gpu so that is good now i did notice when i did the cinebench r15 with auto fan that the performance uh, multi-thread performance was similar to the 8750h but activate the cooler boost fan there then performance did get up so that bodes well for you know longer run tests when you're using uh, all the cores you're going to get some you are going to get better performance than the outgoing 8750H. Now, talking about the GPU, it's a 35 watt part, um, base clock 1020 to about boosting to 1245. Performance wise, it is certainly ahead of uh, like a GTX 1050, it's probably closer to like a 1050 Ti, I suspect. So, that, that is pretty nice. Um, of course, it's 40% behind the uh, GTX 1060, you know, but still. 
you know, it's only a 35 watt part, you know, so it's not going to get hot. So if you do have laptops which have shared heat pipes, I don't think that's going to be uh, too much of an issue. I would like to see perhaps even a more, you know, the 1650 max P, a 50 watt part in here. And perhaps that might be a skew down the road, who knows. But so far it does look pretty nice. So stay tuned for my uh, full review. Put in the comments below what you want me to test. See you next time. Bye.